What's up, everybody? This is your boy, AC, and welcome to LA Sports Live. Here is a place where we're going to talk Lakers, Dodgers, Chargers, and, of course, the LA Rams. Uh, today is June 29th, the eve of the NBA free agency, and uh, <clears throat> the show is called LA Sports Live, so predominantly we're going to talk LA sports, but I can talk any sports, coast to coast. But for right now, we're going to concentrate on the NBA and uh, the free agency. Of course, I'm a Lakers fan all day, every day. And uh, the Lakers are the hot topic today. Uh, just to recap, a couple of days ago, Jim manager Rob Palenka, he finished the AD trade and he cleared enough salary cap space to sign a, uh, a max level player. A lot of people doubt him. A lot of people hating on him. You know, he's pretty much shut them up, but they still gonna talk because the people love the people out there. They just love the hell on the Lakers. Period. That's just just has to be understood. A lot of Lakers can, fans can't understand it, but they just hate on the Lakers for no reason. Uh, so anyhow, he finished off the AD trade, secured AD, AD uh, waived his trade kicker. So bam, we got 32 million to play with. Now, everybody's flipping out because the word is, as of about 24 hours ago. Kawhi Leonard now is all of a sudden considering to come to L.A. and play for the Lakers. And that kind of, you know, befuddled me a little bit. Why are people surprised about that? Because if you've been paying attention from day one when he demanded a trade from San Antonio, who did he ask to get traded to? The Clippers? No. I believe that's a story out that their people put out there to try to change the narrative to convince Kawhi to come to the Clippers. But no. He demanded a trade and asked to be traded to the Lakers. And y'all remember, think about it. Y'all remember that Pop was hating and said he would never try, never trade, do a trade with the Lakers. And if he did, he'd, he'd, he'd rob them blind. People seem to forget about that. The dust settled a little bit. Bam, he got traded to Toronto and then they win the championship. Okay, great. Now, but I always had in my head, and if you were really paying attention, he's still going to want to come to the Lakers. So now, the people thought that may have changed because LeBron came to the Lakers. I'm like, nah, he's always been a Lakers fan. He's always fought the Lakers. Kawhi is coming to the Lakers. Now, so everybody got their panties in a bunch because he decides, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and get the Lakers an uh, interview. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. I'm pretty sure, 95% sure this is a done deal. People are going to say, why would he leave uh, Toronto? He could be the king of the north, the king of Toronto, the king of the country. People who are saying that stuff have never lived in a different country. Some of them probably never lived in another city than where they at right now. Living in another country, you got young kids, you got a girlfriend, you got to put them in school, you got to raise them in different laws of, the, 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 of, of Canada. They have to get dual citizenships and all that stuff. Man, that's a pain in the ass. Why would why would Kawhi want to do that when he could just come home and pay for the Lakers? Damn all that stuff people are talking about, about the front office, the drill manager, blah, blah, blah. That's a bunch of bull. People are just talking trash about the Lakers because they're hating on the Lakers. That's just the bottom line. The Lakers are doing just fine. They are running their business the same way they've done from, from day one since Dr. Buss has, uh, since he purchased the Lakers. <clears throat> and Jeannie's running the business the same way. Only difference is they had a little dry spot, but guess what? We back now. The Lakers are back. <clears throat> There's a lot of people that don't like it, but you know they just gonna have to get over it because the Lakers are about to be back on top again. Now, do I think Kawhi's gonna go to the Lakers? Of course. As far as the other free agents, I think a lot of people are going to be kind of upset or surprised because I think a lot of these guys are going to stay put. Uh, I believe Kemba. The reports are now that he's going to go to Boston. And, uh, you know, that's on the East Coast in the Eastern Conference. I really don't get, care about that. But if that's what he wants to do, that's fine for him. <clears throat> I don't blame him to want to get away from MJ. MJ is a cheap-ass, mediocre owner. Didn't want to offer him the full max. So Kim was like, hey, I'm gone. So he's gone. He's probably going to go to Boston. That ain't going to help him that much. But anyway, go on, go to Boston. Uh, I believe Clay is going to stay at Golden State. KD is pretty interesting. 
for whatever reason, I get the feeling that he wants to leave Golden State, whether he goes to the Knicks or to Brooklyn. Uh, you know, the Knicks. <laughs> it's just a mess. I, I've even heard NBA players on say on any on other interviews saying, "Man, ain't nobody gonna fool with New York until homeboy sells that team." So it's looking like KD is probably gonna give up that cash and go ahead and go to Brooklyn with your boy Kyrie. How do I feel about that? Okay, whatever. Knock yourself out. Uh, Jimmy Butler, I believe if he's smart, he's gonna go ahead <clears throat> and stay in uh, in Philly. And what I saw happening last year in the playoffs is that uh, they didn't trust Ben Simmons were running that team down down the stretch during crunch time. They gave the ball to Jimmy. And for the most part, he made pretty good decisions. For So far as I'm concerned, I know Simmons and, of course, Joel and B probably don't feel this way, but I believe that's, that's Jimmy's team. Not theirs, but Jimmy Butler's team. And if he's smart, and I believe Jimmy's over 30, he might as well go ahead and take that five-year deal from Philly and stay there and go ahead and get the, get that paper. <clears throat> this silly stuff going around about him going to sign and trade to Houston to go play with that asshole Chris Paul and uh, and, and the beard. <laughs> I don't advise you do that, bro. You need to stay right where you are, collect that, collect that paper. Toronto, y'all going to be in bad shape, bro. Matter of fact, Toronto might be a one and done. If Kawhi leaves, I believe they're probably just going to break that thing up. And so what? They got their chip. They're going to make a lot of money. They're going to be on TV a lot next year just because of that. But unfortunately, they're not going to have Kawhi because he's going to be with who? The Lakers. So who are going to be your biggest losers in the free agency? The New York Knicks and the Clippers. Man, I just don't understand this stuff people keep saying about, oh, the Clippers. Oh, they're going to, well, they could get two free agents. They get the, man. The Clippers, the best thing for them to do is uh, for that owner, the billionaire bomber, the best thing for him to do is pack the Clippers up, ship them out of, you know, take them, send them, uh, move them to Seattle or something, get your brand new stadium up there, change the name and everything. That's the best thing for you to do because you ain't going to get it ever. You ain't ever <clears throat> going to get it popping in L.A., especially with the Lakers. They're going to have A.D. and Kawhi. That's it. That's a wrap. The Lakers are going to be set for at least. The Lakers are going to be set for at least six years. If if Kawhi commits to the Lakers, and AD is only what twenty seven, the Lakers are going to be set for at least another six or seven years. And it, and there's going to be a lot, man. That, y'all think there's people hating on LeBron now? If the Lakers complete the trifecta of LeBron, AD. And Kawhi, and by the way, if y'all been paying attention, there was rumors and tweets and Instagram stuff about this over a year ago about LeBron forming a super mega team in LA. But anyway, y'all slept on that. But like I was saying, if LeBron completes, the Lakers complete this trifecta of LeBron, AD, and Kawhi, it's a wrap. And when I say a wrap, I mean a wrap. And I know there's a lot of people hating on uh, LeBron James. They hate LeBron James and blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> Next to Kobe, LeBron's probably the smartest basketball player out there, even though he didn't go to college. Y'all don't think that he had all this stuff going on in his head about, hey, I'm going to move to L.A. This is my transition to the latter part of my career. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do my business. And, oh, you don't think that was a calculated move? People talk a lot of trash. Oh, nobody wants to come to L.A. or go go to play with LeBron and this and that and this and that and this and that. So he said, okay, what do I do? I'll go out and get one of the baddest motherfuckers who don't really give, get credit, A.D. <clears throat> I get him to sign with Clutch Sports and fuck it. I'm going to get him to come to L.A. and play with me. I don't have to get nobody else. Genius. Genius. Y'all need to stop hating on that man and give him his due credit. Uh, the Lakers are set. Y'all ain't gonna like it, but the Lakers are set. All right, guys. Look, I'm, hit the subscribe button, hit the likes, share this video. <clears throat> I want to give a shout out to the people who inspired me to start this channel and to do my thing. 
Dan the Laker fan. Good, very good YouTuber. Uh, L.A. Mike. I don't know what happened to him. He stopped making videos, but he's another one of the guys that inspired me. But the two main guys that really inspired me to do my thing, to get up here on here and do this YouTube channel, give y'all information and and talk about stuff that I like to talk about instead of argue with these fools on the on the on the, uh, on the Facebook group. My boy Tall Guy Reviews and Mr. Organic. You guys go check out their YouTube channels. Awesome YouTubers and they're inspirational. Again, this is your boy AC. This is LA Sports Live. I'm going out of town for a vacation for a week. But I'm going to try to hit y'all off with about one, at least one or two more videos before I leave. By the time I get back, it's going to be done jumped off. So I might have to hit y'all from from uh, from my vacation where I'm, when, where I'm going when I'm leaving tomorrow morning. But I might have to hit y'all from there. Because uh, at 6 o'clock tomorrow, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. So, hey, this is LA Sports Live signing off. I'll let y'all later.